Here with Liz Cundy at the BGC Charity Day, the first WAG. Liz, which charity are you here with? Well, I'm here for Variety Club and I do a lot of work with them and I've actually raised quite a bit of money today on my first trade. Got in 20,000, so I'm quite happy. That's brilliant. You should be on our sales team. Oh, <laughs> I'd love to. Got a job, yeah? Oh, well, they're a bit tight on the old finances at the moment. Um, um, so how did you manage getting that money out of them? Well, I just used a bit of charm and I just said, come on, you know, you're talking to a, like, he was a Chelsea supporter, actually. So oh, dear. It, it, it helped. It helped. So I did not bad. Quite happy. Um, you're dubbed as the first ever wag. What sort of privilege is this for you? Well, I, I love the WAGs. They get a lot of stick. I'm a bit upset with Fabio today with the news he's not letting the girls go to South Africa. But I, I actually am um, their kind of ambassador. I stick up for them because they always seem to get the blame for everything. And there's lots of good things about the footballers' wives that they do. A lot of charity work like today. And um, they do many things. And I think they always get a lot of stick for just shopping and, and blaming them for not playing well in the World Cups. <laughs> well, we love the WAGs. But what's the most enjoyable thing about being a WAG? Well... I get to watch the best games. Oh, yeah. Come uh, on, it's got to be the jewellery, hasn't it? Well, of course, the shopping is fantastic, and we can't, you know, obviously that is very nice. But also, it's just lovely being part of the team. You really are. The, the, all the footballers' wives. There's a real lovely network of friends, and I don't think you get there like that anywhere else. And, and the players, there's loads of banter and fun, and it is very enjoyable. But there are some bad sides. You know, your your guys always away at Christmas, and you can't ever plan anything. Your holidays, they're always away a lot on tour. Always getting injured. We are if you're married to, like, my husband. But <laughs> well, interesting you talk about Jason. We actually played football against him last Friday. Looking a little out of shape, Liz. He's, was he? I heard he had a few um, sherbets, shall we say, before the night. Oh, I see. That might explain something, I think. Uh, how was he playing? Was he all right or not so good? Looked good in the early stages. Then, you know, um, lacking a bit of stamina, I think, in his old age, Liz. <laughs> But listen, Jason, as they all do, when footballers stop playing football, they add a few pounds, you know, I'm trying to get him back in shape. I think it's your good home cooking, actually. <laughs> yeah, it could be, it could be. But you know what, footballers, they are a handful to look after. So everyone thinks Wags has got a great life. It's quite tough at times, you know. It is, certainly. But Liz, thank you so much for talking to us today. It's a real pleasure. Well, thank you, guys. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Take care.